Did you guys hear the breaking news? After the Vladimir Putin Tucker Carlson interview, Russians invaded America, particularly Texas, in Joel Houston's church, the mega church, and they started shooting everybody. Oh, wait, I'm getting my stories mixed up. <laughs> there was no Russians invading a Joel church, Joel Osteen's church in Houston, but there was an attack on his church. So I don't want to play the fake news, but I'm going to transition to the attack. Apparently there was a, an attack with a gun by this person named Genevieve, Genesis Moreno. And the news reported this attack at Joel Osteen's church, the mega pastor's church with 45,000 people in Houston, Texas as a transgender attack. And that was what it was known to be. In initially, the news reported Fox News, some conservative people reported as a transgender person attacked Joel Houston's church. But after doing more research, I don't think that is the case. But however, there is conflicting information about this person's or this woman's background, who is about 36, 30, 36, 37 years old. And she ha apparently had a history of mental illness, threatened a lot of people, had a rap sheet uh, a mile high pretty much since 2010. But the police have now come out and stated that this was a woman who was born a biological female and she wasn't transgender. So let's take a look and see what the police says. In regards to the investigation, our shooter is identified by a driver's mm -hmm. license as Genesee Moreno, 36 years old, Hispanic female. There are some discrepancies. We do have reports she used multiple aliases, including Jeffrey Escalante. So she has utilized both male and female names, but through all of our investigation to this point, talking with individuals, interviews, documents, Houston Police Department reports, she has been identified this entire time as female, she, her, and so uh, we are identifying her as Gen C. Moreno, Hispanic. So as you just heard, the police came out and said that this was a biological female it wasn't a transgender i definitely don't want to play the become the fake news just like i did in the beginning <laughs> by saying that the russians invaded joel houston jo joel osteen's church in houston and shot up his church because i mean it is sad what happened i'm not making light of it i just just wanted to bring levity to the situation because it's crazy what's happening in the united states and we had the giant putin tucker carlson interview which has taken the world by storm and the freedom of speech is important but the thing is that even if it wasn't a trans transgender f female male and this is a crazy woman who had a history of mental illness the problem with this whole the whole issue is that in a, there's two issues so Number one is that church shootings have been happening a lot recently. And I just want to read to you guys a little bit of the story about the church shooting. If you could see on the screen that you could see the shooter had a lengthy, lengthy record, like I showed before. And she actually used to donate to his church. And it's like really the biggest church in America, basically. And I don't support Joel Osteen at all. He's a false teacher. He always preaches prosperity gospel, their best life now. He never preaches about sin, repentance, judgment, hell, heaven. He never shares the cross of Christ. And when he does, it's all about positivity. So everyone who's a real born again Christian knows that Joel Osteen is not somebody you want to follow as a, um, a Christian, your pastor, because many times he was interviewed and he always could never tell the truth of Jesus. It's the only way to heaven that abortion is wrong or homosexuality. I believe it was homosexuality. It was years ago I saw his interview. It was on YouTube. But the problem with this whole story is that there's a lot of shootings that are happening in churches. And it seems like, like I did a video about a shooting of a preacher that was preaching in Arizona in near one of the cities near Phoenix, Gilbert. And he was shot by somebody who was just driving by. And still no one knows the identity of that shooter or shooters. No one knows why he was shot. He was just preaching the gospel. So there's a lot of fishy things that are going on. Why these churches and Christians are getting shut up in America. And I believe we are living in more demonic and dangerous times. 
than we ever have in America. And myself being a uh, missionary and evangelist who does huge events, sports events, witchcraft events, ministers at universities, I, I see the violence is getting really bad against Christians. And I, I'm not saying this story specifically relates to, because some, it relates to specifically to someone being a Christian, but I, I do see that the, there is some parallels to why these shootings are happening in these churches. And again, unlike fake news, the guns are not the problem. Yes, and she did have history of violence where there should have been an idea where maybe she shouldn't be having these guns if she threatened other people with guns. So I, I agree with that, but I'm not for these laws that are passed where they can just take this your Second Amendment rights away willy-nilly just because someone says you yelled at your spouse or something like that. But this case looks a little different because she's had a, a crazy rap history of um, criminal activity. And the thing is that even though the story might not be related specifically to a Christian getting attacked in Joel Osteen's church, and again, I never want to see you know gun violence at, at a church because again, I, I used to be security for another church that I used to be part of, and we never wanted to have any kind of attack. But we were always aware that there could be, Satan could bring somebody who's unstable mentally, unstable on drugs, demonically oppressed, possessed, that could do something bad to a church. So it's important to have church security. So I'm glad there were two off-duty police officers as the report state to take down this crazy woman. But the thing is that there does seem to be a, a rise and uptick in churches being attacked. And it does seem like we're living in more dangerous times, no matter if it's a false church or a true church, like Joel Osteen's um, church preaches a false prosperity gospel. The problem is that we are have been a spiritual war in America where churches and Christians are more in danger than they ever were before. And uh, before any liberal says, oh, you have a persecution complex as a Christian. Well, the truth is that Christians have been the most persecuted religion in the world next to Jews. And Christians are always persecuted or killed or put in jail in China or um, even in Russia sometimes and also in, in other countries like Africa, Middle East. So the thing is that there is an agenda by the devil to take, out, take away peace because the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So if he comes to take away peace, then for sure the devil wants to uh, cause chaos in America. And people might even think, oh, this was a false, this could be a false flag attack or something. Or maybe she was MK Ultra CIA operative. I don't know. It doesn't, there's no evidence showing that. But the thing is that before people say that, it's important to look at it in terms of spiritual eyes and see that we're definitely living in times that are more dangerous than ever before. And it's important to be on guard spiritually. Um, it's important to understand that we're fighting a spiritual war. The Bible says that we're not fighting against flesh and blood but against spiritual principalities in high places. So this woman, even though she was physically attacking somebody at Joel Osteen's church and people don't know what, who she was attacking, they still don't have a motive. The police shot her and her son, killed her son. Um, they didn't mean to shoot her son, but that, that's just what happened, which is sad, really sad, but um, just what happened in the crossfire. But the thing is that even though we don't know the motive of why she was there, did she donate to the church before? Was there somebody, a relative, a friend, or someone who was a formerly a friend that did her wrong and she tried to give revenge? We don't know that. But the problem is that it's getting quite crazy in the, in the spiritual realm is why are churches getting so attacked and why are Christians getting so attacked? And like in the previous video I did with a preacher that got attacked, we got to be aware of this. And for those who are non-Christians, it's important to understand that even though uh, these stories have become na sensationalized, nationalized, and the media then immediately goes towards, it goes towards uh, banning guns, we got to realize that it's not about um, guns necessarily. It's not really not. It's because you can use a knife or you can use a, you can use a hammer, like in other countries that happens. So it's not about using a certain tool. It's about the mental state of individuals and whether they're demonically being possessed or oppressed. And so you got to understand that we live in a world where nothing is what it seems. And the physical is only part of what is really going on in the spiritual realm. So this person, she had a lot of disturbing behavior as I'm showing you right now. And even though she was, she had mental illness, you got to understand that mental illness is not necessarily just mental illness because 
a lot of times the people that I ran across with mental illness, they had demonic p oppression, possession. They had, they had a lot of history of where they were into the occult or some kind of demonic things, heavy witchcraft. And so they had already a history of spiritual stuff going on with them and then mentally it affected them. So this woman ha or whatever, transgender, whatever people think she, he was, she already, she had a lot of problems. And so they said that she used to be anti-Semitic. She intimidated people with guns and Nazi salutes. And she called people the B word or every day, like some people said that every day she said something violent. So this person was demonically uh, possessed. There's evidence that it seems like it was demonically possessed in many ways. And whatever happened to her psychologically was definitely um, caused a lot by her spiritual issues. Because again, this stuff is not just physical. It's not just a news story that, oh, and sh a shooting at Joel Osteen's church. There is more stuff that, that is, is more involved here than we think. Just like there's always something behind the scenes that are happening in our world events, then we also know that in people's lives, there's always something behind the scenes following these kind of crazy situations where they violently break out and shoot somebody at a church or shoot a, a preacher on the crossroads of Gilbert, Arizona. So there always is something behind this that we're not seeing. So the important question, the important question is to ask, what is, what is the devil's agenda here? Because even though there is stuff running around in terms of it's, it wasn't trans, she wasn't transgender, she was a female. Okay. It doesn't matter. We want to be in the truth. But the other question is, why are we getting this way? Why is America becoming so unsafe in many ways? Not because of guns, because America's had guns since 1776. In 1787, since the country was created, everyone had guns. Uh, people ha had guns and rifles in the back of their pickup trucks back in the 60s and 50s and at school, 70s. So why has this been happening in America? The thing is because of sin and because of demonic um, portals being opened up by people who are having to witchcraft, uh, people who are doing a lot of occultic activity in America, people who are serving the devil and through our ritualistic murders of almost 70 million babies, we've opened up demonic presences in this country. And so that's why the devil has been having a lot of free reign in whatever church, small church, big church, false preaching churches, or true preaching churches, the devil seems to have more reign. It's not that God doesn't see what's happening. It's not that God doesn't expect us to be smarter than the devil. He does. We should be smarter than the devil because the Bible even says, that we are not ignorant of the devil's devices, schemes, and strategies, as Paul says. And we have to ask ourselves, if we are really in, if we're really saved, if we're really born again, if we're really living in the Lord's will, because a lot of times these things can happen because we are not aware of the things that are happening around us. We could be compromised in many ways. Joel Osteen's church is a very compromised church, false preaching, false teachings. And we don't know how much demonic spirits can set things up in the background to get that woman. Janet sees Moreno and people say she's from El Salvador. She could be an immigrant as well. It's like, why would she go to that church? So it's, you always got to ask, what is the chess move here being played by the devil? And why did it happen in Joel Osteen's church? And the thing is that I would love to see none of these gun violence attacks happens in churches, of course. But the bigger question to ask is, are you right with God? Because even if this attack didn't happen and you're living your life and you're going about your life thinking everything's okay, you're not in Ukraine in a war zone, you're not in Syria and Iraq, Iran, you're not being, you're not being attacked for your beliefs or lack of beliefs, but are you right with God? Because the important thing is to know the gospel and the gospel is what America has lost. America used to spread the gospel, but now America has become an apostate nation. And that's what, and there's so much churches that are in America. And unfortunately, this attack happened in a false church, Joel Osteen's church, and it shouldn't have never happened. And I pray that, that people get the spiritual help they need to not have PTSD from this or be attacked by the devil through this violent uh, attack in the church and people hear the true gospel. But the thing is that it's important for you and I to know whether we're truly born again, because if we're not, then at any moment we can step into eternity, whether we're in a church or whether we're outside grocery shopping at Walmart, that or it could be an attack. There's even recently an attack happened in Kansas City because of the Kansas City winning the Super Bowl, and they had and there was a 
shooter or few shooters that shot like 10 people. One of them is dead as times at the time of this filming and on the nine are injured and many are critical injured. So the thing is that you don't even know when your last moment could be on earth. It could be in a church. It could be in a football celebration. It could be in a football game. It could be a Walmart. It could be a Costco. It could be in your own house. The devil sets up a situation when intruder comes in and shoots somebody. So the thing is that the question is to ask, um, are you right with God? Am I right with God? Because if you died, today was your last moment. Would you be, would your sins be forgiven? And the thing is, we live in a fallen world, a world that's full of sin, wickedness, and darkness, and evil. And people ask, why would God allow this to happen, especially in a church? The thing is that God allows for free will. He allows for humans to make decisions, even wicked ones. But he also has a greater plan through it all that if we surrender to Jesus Christ, he can give us a greater purpose than just living day-to-day -day life and going through things that are happening that are evil. God has a God can flip things, evil things to good things. God does what God does. And the thing is, is that the devil also is the God of this world temporarily. And so he has free reign. And for people who are agents of the matrix, the devil can use them and come at them at any time, mentally psychotic, crazy people like this a woman that shot up Joel Osteen's church, it could happen any time because they're not surrendered to Christ, they're compromised, or they're serving the devil. So the question is, the important question to ask is, is are you right with God? Because if you're not, then you're in the danger of being judged by God for your sins. And at any moment, the, the devil can have free reign in your life. And you don't want to be not under the God's shadow of his wings. You want to be protected under his wings. And it's not that when you become a Christian, bad things won't happen to us because I know that God hasn't protected me from every bad thing that's ever happened to me. God has allowed me to get into car, bad car accident situations, but he, I know he has protected me in many ways too. But the thing is that, you know, I've gotten really sick at times. Why hasn't God protected me from sickness? So the question is, <clears throat> are, is our souls right with God? Are we eternally secure? Because this body is going to perish, whether it's through a terrorist attack or through natural death and the thing is that if we are not forgiven for our sins if jesus christ has not become our lord and savior then what are we really living for in this life we're just going from day-to-day -day life trying to work trying to survive having a family none of those are bad things but if they're what you're living for the most then you're missing the point of your existence and which is to have a personal relationship with jesus christ the god man who died for you on the cross paid the penalty for all of your lies thefts a blasphemy, pornography, addiction, drunkenness, whatever it is, hatred, satan satanic things that, that you have contributed to or cultic things. So the thing is that Jesus Christ died for those things so that you could be set free from your sin and be the true man and woman that you created to be. So I encourage you, if you're not right with God and you saw this video, to really get right with God because we're living really living in times that are very different than 50 years ago in America or around the world. At any moment, there could be a world war that can break out. And it doesn't mean that it's the end of the world and Jesus is gonna return, but there is a lot of Bible prophecies that are coming true. And because they are coming true in such a crazy way, the rise of AI, AI gods are being built right now through AI technology to replace the God of the Bible completely. So the thing is, we are living in the end times and it's important to be right with God, so I urge you, if you're not right with God, get right with Jesus Christ because you don't know when it's your last day. You don't know if you could be one of those people that something like that could happen to. I never know either, but I know that if it did happen to me, if I didn't survive, that I would be going to heaven because Jesus Christ came into my life. He forgave me for all my wickedness and my sins and saved me and made me into a new Slavic, a new person, a new human being 2.0. If you watched this far, thank you guys. I appreciate you. And for those who don't know Jesus, who heard this new story and are like, how could God allow this? Or am I not going to be safe in a church? Or I don't know if I'm right with God if I die today. Make sure that you get right with God. Pick up a Bible, the Gospel of John, the New Testament, and start reading it. Start reading it. Start finding out who Jesus is, how much he loves you, how much he has a purpose for your life. And Unlike Joel Osteen's preaching, it's all about happiness and wealth and health. God wants to give you uh, wealth and health, but it's spiritual wealth and health more importantly than physical. And the Bible even says that if you follow Christ, you will be persecuted because you are going against the world system. So you have to understand that God is not about just giving us whatever we want. It's all about doing God's will. So make sure that you're in God's will. 
by first giving your life to Christ and making him your Lord and Savior. God bless you guys.